Hey, what's up? <laughs> do you, uh, do you, uh, any sort of drinks you can see? Any, you see a drink? Do you see a drink you might want to order? I'll order it for you. <laughs> I'll order it. Do you come here often? Do you, what, do you work around here? Do you work here often? Do you work often? Do you have a job? Do you have a job? <laughs> so that was what's known as game. Now, just there, I wasn't necessarily spitting game at you. Uh, that was just some example of some game that I could lay down if I was, if you didn't smell. Today, we're gonna go back to my home country of Canada. Oh, Canada. And we're gonna examine some fellow Canadians' game. We got game. Oh, we got game in the Great White North, all right? We true, we do. Here's, here's a pickup line that I've used uh, multiple times. Um, goes like this. Hey, what's up? It's fucking cold, eh? Boom. Pants off, buzzies fumped. Just like fumped. <laughs> buzzies fumped? What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, that's a shirt, right? We gotta make a shirt with that on it. Fuzzies bumped is what I meant to say. Okay, today we're gonna watch a show called Keys to the VIP that premiered in 2006 on the Comedy Network in Canada. In this show, two guys go head to head to see who is the better pickup artist. Now, I know, I know. You're thinking right now, you're thinking, wait, every time, this is awesome, because every time I've watched pickup content online, my first thought is, first of all, hell yeah, this is sick. Second of all, alpha as shit. Third of all, this is not uncomfortable at all to watch. And fourth of all, how can I watch someone do this competitively? I wanna see the Olympic games of game. I wanna see somebody spit in game for glory and for honor, not just to get their D's assed. Well, let's do it. Uh, this episode is a magician versus a stripper. I mean, right away I have some predispositions as to who's gonna win. Um, but you know, let's give them both a fair chance here. I'm sorry, what the fuck is a magician gonna do? in this scenario against a male stripper. Come on, dude. No girl has ever wanted to fuck after a card trick. I can guarantee you that. Is this your card? Oh my God. It's never happened. Never happened. By the way, guys, before we start watching, Noel and I have another Moment House show coming up next Thursday, October 12th at 5 p.m. Pacific. We're doing another Live That's Cringe. We shot some hilarious sketches, and we also shot another Cody and Noel do where we learn how to pro wrestle, and then we actually wrestle each other. It's going to be an absolute blast. And if you can't make the stream, then you can watch it for 24 hours after, as long as you have a ticket. So just go to momenthouse.com slash tinymeatgang to get a ticket, and I'll see you there. Okay, let's get into this. This already fucks. Let's meet our contestants. In tonight's battle, Hot Body Jason takes on Mike the Magician in a three round contest at Mink Nightclub. Hot Body Jason versus Mike the Magician? That's your nickname, dude. That's your nickname. You're already at a disadvantage uh, by the fact that you're a magician. But yeah, fuck it, put it in the name. Fuck yourself even harder. The other guy's name is Hot Body. His, his nickname's literally Hot Body. The prize, an epic VIP event where the champion and his closest friends will enjoy full bottle service and the company of our sexy VIP girls. <laughs> That's awesome. That's fucking awesome. I mean, normally the prize for these reality shows is like, I don't know, money. But in this case, it's just like, yeah, it's a, you get out a night, you get a free night out with the boys. <laughs> bottle service with these hot actresses who are paid for who are here because they're getting paid. Here, here's one bottle of vodka that you you and your eight friends have to share with a bunch of actresses who are paid to be here and probably want to be pretty drunk. Congrats. All right, let's meet these guys, shall we? All right, this is Hot Body Joe. He's a kinesiologist by day and a male stripper by night. Kind of a classic combo, honestly, if you're asking me. By day, I'm a kinesiologist. And at night, I'm satisfying women as a stripper. <laughs> Hey, Mike, I hear you're a magician, but you ain't got tricks like this, baby. What the fuck move was that? Is that a typical male stripper move? I don't think so. Why did it look like he was getting tased? Yo, Mike, I hear you're a magician, but you don't have, you don't got the voltage like me, dog. Any guy can go to a website and download the top 10 lines and use them on the girl in the club, but that's not going to get you anywhere. What? <laughs> Go to a website and download the top 10 pickup lines? I mean, let's see. Top 10 pickup lines. Number one. Kiss me if I'm wrong, but dinosaurs still exist, right? Oh. 
That's pretty good. Okay, how about number six here? Want to come see my hard drive? Just kidding. It's three and a half inches and floppy. That one doesn't seem as good. My game is pretty simple. I'm straightforward. I'm genuine. I'm straight to the point. This guy rules. I'm straightforward. I'm genuine. And I'm straight to the point. And I keep it straight. And I don't beat around the bush. And I'm straight with you. And I'm also straight. And I'm not gay. It's great. It's fun. But the truth is, uh, I've never really been rejected. Never been rejected. What a record. This guy is 2-0, and oh, baby. Wow. All right, let's meet Mike the Magician. Let's see what he's all about. I don't have a lot of faith in this guy. Now, Mike the Magician. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Mike, and I'm a magician. I've been doing magic for the past... Okay. Not a great first impression, gotta be honest. I mean, could you be more of a caricature? Really, the fedora, dude, come on. Yeah, what's up? It's Mike, the magician. Why are you talking like that? Women want what they can have. They want a guy who's different. They want a guy who can go make them laugh and be original. I'm gonna they want a guy to guess their card right. They want a guy to pull a fucking rabbit out of a hat. They want a guy to split them in half, literally, on stage. They want a guy to pull a fucking giant, like, never-ending bandana thing out of their fucking throat or whatever. <laughs> So, of course, like every early 2000s show, there's a panel of judges, pickup experts that watch the dudes lay game and then pick at the end who they think the winner was. And they like roast them, obviously. You guys are just not going to believe. Salute. <laughs> <laughs> I chose this shit tonight because Windows was having a stale. <laughs> Chris. That wasn't even a good impression of him, honestly. That would sucked. What are you doing? It wasn't even close. What are you thinking right now? I think Mike the Magician might just be one of the most interesting guys we've ever seen on this show. The seductive nature of magic is undeniable. I think he's- what, what are you talking about, dude? The seductive nature of magic? What are you talking about? I can think of a lot of words to describe magic, but seductive is nowhere in there. I can't imagine something that would dry someone up more than a fucking card trick on the dance floor. Hey, I know you are grinding with me right now, but think of a number. All right, let's get into round one. In round one, each player has five minutes to get a woman to buy him a drink. Whoa, buy them a drink. All right, I like that. Flipping traditional gender roles on their head. This show is actually really progressive. Hi. Do you remember me? Yes. That's always a pretty dope thing to do, honestly. If someone asks if you remember them and you don't, you go, yes. Because that gives you time to think. Right? You probably didn't see that there. I was thinking the whole time, how the fuck do I know this girl? You know what I'm saying? But it didn't seem like that. It seemed natural as fuck. Mr. Hot Body here is clearly a veteran, and that I can appreciate. Let's see what else he's got. If you buy this round, I'll buy all your rounds for the rest of the night. I'll buy this round. He did it. That took no time. My man did it. Mr. Hot Body. I, didn't, I never doubted him. I never doubted him. He secured the drink. I never doubted him. Let's see what he says next. So you're gonna give me your number? Yo, you want a drink? 416. You can put it under sexy black chick. You're black? <laughs> I'm with these guys. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> you're black? <laughs> I don't I don't really see this. It's not going too well. I don't know. Questionable thing to say there, to be to be honest. <laughs> I just thought you had a tan. I'm kidding. I'm so kidding. Was that a race joke? Oh, what? Out of everything you could have joked about there. She said her race and you thought, ah, this is the right time. I'm going to jump in with, with a joke right here. I don't know if race was the best thing in that conversation to latch on to for a little joke. <laughs> but, you know, he's the master. So, we'll, you know, we'll see. We'll see if it works out. I should have told. He's here, Yeah, dudes. I'm with you. Again, dudes. These are my guys right here. Yeah, I, I'm a little bit confused by that move. Isn't the goal here to smash? Aren't you doing the opposite of that by walking away? I don't know. I can't I don't know this I, I don't know what this man is doing. Let's see how Mikey fares in round one. Hey guys! No, no. I'm gonna line up ten shots for you guys, okay. but 
if I do my thing, if I can actually read your mind, you're gonna have to get me a shot. Oh my god, my man Mike coming in hot with the magic right off the rip. He, the first thing he said was, hey guys, I can read minds. Oh, creepy. Do I look like a waste of time? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh no. Do I look like a waste of time? She said, yes. I want you to imagine that I have an invisible deck of cards. Okay. No, no, uh, no. I don't know what's worse, having an actual deck of cards in the club or asking a girl to pretend that you have a deck of cards. What? Yo, just imagine that I'm wearing my fedora right now. I forgot it at home by accident, but just imagine I am. Can you see that card? I want you to hold them. This dude is just, oh, everything about this is so uncomfortable. He's just screaming at these girls. The music is like, dudes, 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 in the background. And he's like, okay, what I now what I want you to do is this fucking hot breath on them. This fucking hot, nasty magician breath just pouring all over them. Okay, what I want you to do now is think of a one between the queen and the four and then subtract five. Tell me, what card were you thinking of? Ace of hearts. Ace of hearts? Listen to this. Nadia, you've been holding that deck the whole time. Yeah. Look at this. This card box. Take a look. Is that your card? No way. Who else wants to suck that guy's dick right now? I mean, the girls seem impressed. I'll give him that, okay? But the other dude was just like, hey, can you buy me a drink? I'll get the next one. And she's like, okay, easy as that. You know, you don't, get, you don't gotta jump through all these hoops. Anyways, Mike ends up winning round one. I don't know why. But I mean, the other dude said like five words and also made a race joke. So I guess it wasn't that hard. Let's see how round two goes. In this round, each player has five minutes to impress us with his unique seductive ability. Freestyle. I like that. I like no structure. Yeah, just flow, dude. Go out there and show us what you do best. Let's see your best game, dude. Let's see your best line. Show us your best line right now. Are you, are you wearing underwear? <laughs> Good. 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 That's your best line? Are you wearing underwear? Fuck yeah. Honestly, the dinosaur line from the website would have been way better than that travesty. So maybe you should have downloaded the top 10 lines before you headed to the club. Okay, let's see what Mike's got. What do you got for us, dude? Let's see your freestyle. Uh, honestly, a card trick doesn't sound that bad after that last one. What's your name? Honestly, I gotta learn some of those dances. This guy is so goofy, it's like kind of hard not to love him, you know? What's going on? Honestly, I gotta learn some of those dance moves. Hey, what's your name? Penny. Penny? I'm Mike. Nice to meet you. Hi. I gotta show you something really crazy. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't you do it. Come, come. I gotta show you something. We'll take a napkin. Oh, come on. Honestly, you are one of the, you have the cutest smile I have ever seen. You really have cute eyes. Only the special people in my life get one of these. What is it? It's my famous no, my Only the special people in my life get one of these and girls I've known for five seconds at a random bar. That's what I'm talking about! Sorry, I just made fun of my own people there, Jesus. Okay, so he, he just went complete opposite end of the spectrum there. He didn't even lay down a pickup line, he just lit something on fire in the middle of the club. <laughs> Which, nowadays if you did that, you would get thoroughly arrested. Which actually might not be a bad thing because then you could do one of those like getting arrested TikToks, you know? No, no, the magic was too dope. I love you. Cause that is the ultimate game. Round three, let's see what it's all about. Now you're thinking, wait, but what else could there be? I mean, they, they did the drinks, they did the freestyle. Oh, the D floor makeout. Yup, let's get it. Each player must try and obtain a kiss. Good luck boys. I heard you have a crush on me. Okay. I'm gonna go buy a drink because I promise no one. Yeah, yeah. No, you're me. And I'll buy you one too. This guy has like a full five second processing time. Like anytime any one of these girls says something to him, he's like Okay, well then I'll buy you one too. It's like computing in his head, like registering female statements, generating game response. Divide and conquer. He's taken her away from the group. He's created an intimate atmosphere for her. They're talking, they're, he's upping the sexual ante. Maybe I don't know anything about game. 
The pickup is so creepy. He's taking her away from her friends who she's who she knows and is comfortable with. She's isolating her. That's a good move, dog. Are you having a good time? Oh, Mr. Hotbody secures the French kiss. That's a sick thing to say right there. I have to use the washroom. So do I. I gotta piss so bad after that kiss. But I can't because I have a boner. Oh, are you going? Okay. I don't know. I don't even know where the washroom is. <laughs> this guy sucks, man. How did he get that kiss? He sucks. Let's see what Mike's got up his sleeve. Probably like a fucking, you know, chicken or something. Oh, what was that? You see that little back tickle? Oh! Ooh, what the fuck? Ooh. Hello, beautiful. Oh! That is the hottest tattoo I've ever seen. That is the hottest tattoo. I can't do it. I just don't know if I'm feeling the hair right now. Why? I think you can get so much more volume in it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what's known as the neg. It's when you purposely insult someone to make them like you more. I don't really, I don't, you know, I don't know. Not feeling the hair and your fucking boobies stink. My name's Mike. It's a pleasure to meet you, Christina. Thank you, Mike. Do you have a boyfriend? Not anymore, no. I'm just waiting, for, I'm just waiting for him to pull out some stupid trick. <laughs> I'm gonna show you something. You might believe it, you might not. Watch this. Piece of gum, okay? <laughs> what if he's like... <laughs> What if he was like, here, take a piece. And it was like one of those prank shock gums where she like takes a piece. She's like, ow, what the fuck? He's like, do you want to make out maybe? <laughs> I got to ask you something. I want you to bite half of it. Just bite half. I'm going to bite half of it from your mouth. But I promise I'm not going to touch your lips. <laughs> <laughs> Seems pretty weird. <laughs> wow. Incredible. I would I don't know if I would applaud that, you know? I don't know. He kind of forced it a little bit. It didn't really feel right. I don't know. Okay, so then after much deliberation, they finally decide who gets the keys to the VIP. Let's see who our big winner is. Is it Hot Body or is it the creepy magician? Let's see. I say we raise a glass to Mike the Magician. Congratulations, you're our champion tonight. Enjoy the VIP experience. Yeah! Tonight's yeah! champion is... Mm -hmm. ...is Mike the Magician. Oh shit, it's time to party! Yeah, let's go! Just Mike and the boys! Night on the town, VIP style. Unclip that velvet rope, baby, cause I'm going inside. Hell yeah, Mike and 15 hotties, all who are getting paid to be there. That seems sick. See, you know, all this time we've been watching fucked up American reality TV. Canada knows how to make a show as well, all right? That was dope. I actually remember watching that as a kid, like every episode, being like, oh, this is sick. Well, that's it, guys. Um, I guess I'll end with a little bit more game. I think I'm just going to pick another pickup line randomly off this list and see if it works. Okay, this one's under pickup lines for the smooth guy. Did you fart? Because it smells so good over here, I had to come over and whiff up your stinky fart, my smelly little princess. Did it work? 